And now the forecast with Brian Miskimmons. And good Sunday evening to you. If you enjoyed tonight's weather, boy, you're going to really like our seven day forecast. Once we get outside of some morning clouds on our Monday with temperatures in the mid 50s, they'll burn off very quickly and they'll be spotty in nature. I especially expect out towards western Washington County to see less in the way of morning clouds. Noontime, 67 degrees, sunny skies dominating. As we go into the afternoon, you're going to notice that breeze that we had this afternoon that's going to kick back up again, but it'll be sunny and breezy. 72 at 3 o'clock as the kids get out of school, 6 o'clock, 76 degrees degrees and sunny skies and you can see some of those clouds already along the Oregon coast. This picture sent in to us from Bob O'Brien tonight out in Waldport. He said the cloud bank, he said it looked like it was going to be a gorgeous sunset and then that cloud bank rolled in, kind of made for beautiful rays of sunlight coming through there. And this picture sent to us from Amanda Parson, the gorge, overlooking the gorge taken from Cape Horn, just a spectacular photo and we're going to see a lot more in the way of photo finishes like that over the next several days. Our warm spots on our pinpoint weather net, Tualatin, Milwaukee, uh, Portland Fire and Rescue Station 22 and the Dallas Colonel Wright Elementary School all coming in at 75 degrees today. Our airport readings not quite as warm. 72 for Portland, same goes for Salem. 73 for Eugene and Redmond. 67, one of the cooler spots east of the Cascades at Baker City, and 81, the warm spot in the state today at Medford. Current temperatures at this 11 o'clock hour cooling off quite nicely. It's going to be a little bit chilly out the door, especially out towards Hillsboro. You guys will be in the 40s in the morning, and 55 at this hour for Astoria. 52 for Tillamook and currently 48 degrees in Bend. You guys will drop into the 30s. Earlier today, we had some showers and thunder showers up towards Spokane, and some of those showers spun into the far northeastern corner of the state. Those clouds are now dissipating, widening out the view, though. This is really going to be a classic northwest summer week. This area of low pressure is kicking off to the east. However, what's going to really dominate our weather all week is this ridge of high pressure. These clouds will try to get into us, especially as we go towards Tuesday and Wednesday. But in general, ridge of high pressure dominates all week long. So outside of our morning clouds on Monday, we're talking about beautiful sunny skies. And I think the low clouds kind of hanging tough around 7.30 in the morning, but they'll burn off very quickly by, I'd say, 10 to 11 at the latest tomorrow. And then it's we're off to sunshine, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for the rest of tomorrow. Now, out along the coast, some morning clouds. I think that's where they're going to be hanging the toughest. You'll warm up to 65 in the afternoon for seaside, 78 for Eugene and Salem. Areas of morning clouds, otherwise clearing skies and breezy in the afternoon. Same goes for east of the Cascades, 82 in the afternoon for the Dalles. Mostly sunny, but definitely a northwest breeze kicking up in the afternoon. For the Columbia River Gorge. Morning clouds west towards Cascade Locks, otherwise mostly sunny Hood River and east. Morning clouds on the west slopes of the Cascades and that afternoon freezing level kicking up to 11,000 feet. 76 downtown after some morning clouds, it'll become breezy and sunny in the afternoon. Some generally mid 70s across the entire metropolitan area after morning lows 45 to 50 on the west side, near 50 on the east side as you get up closer to the Cascades. 49 out the door for Scapoose, 75 in the afternoon. And your seven day forecast there, the 80s returning on Tuesday. A few more passing clouds on Wednesday, and then the morning clouds, afternoon sunshine returns for Thursday and Friday. And Ken, I mentioned earlier that at 6 o'clock tonight that next weekend I've got temperatures in the 80s. That could be conservative. Some of our models are hinting at closer towards maybe 90 by Sunday. So Grand Floral Parade is Saturday, so fantastic weather for that. And many years uh, we've been here, the Grand Floral Parade has seen rain. So yes. Hopefully we can avoid <laughs> yes. that this year. I think great. we're going to avoid it. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Brian. Yep.